So this R naught is what happens when there's a new virus and all of us are susceptible. And R naught takes into account how contagious a virus is. Well, we all know now that this virus is very, very contagious, much more contagious than the flu. How many susceptible people there are? In the beginning, all of us were susceptible. And over the course of time, more and more of us will catch it, more and not more of us will recover, and we will go from someone who's infected, so susceptible, infected, or recovered. Um, and it also has to do in this number of what we do, what we do to stop that spread. So the R naught for this was at first told to be 2.3. Um, you want an R naught, whenever an R naught or, or that, that spread number is above one, it means that we're exponentially growing it. When you have an R naught of two, it means that at first you have 100 people infected, but in three days you might have 200 people infected, and three days later you know 400, and that goes on exponentially. But when that R naught is less than one, that is actually happening in the reverse. You might have 100 people, but now they only spread it to 50 more instead of 200. And then the next doubling, they only spread it to 25 more. So that exponential goes in the opposite direction. And that's when we start to see a disease burn out or really not, you know, we break those chains of transmission. So the things that we have seen over the last two weeks, because of that spread, because that ping pong ball it's not snapping off and spreading it to others, means that we have lowered that R naught as a guess, and this is an underestimate based on the amount we can test, to, to 1.21. Um, we know those R naughts are underestimates, but still, it shows that you in Ohio are slowing that spread. And the more and more we can do that, the more and more we can spread, stop that rapid spread of disease.